Good morning, Pokepants. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we're going to continue our season rank climb using a team that we built from scratch. Well, I guess I can't say that anymore. <laughs> Today starts season 23 of Regulation H. Now, if you guys watched yesterday's video, uh, yeah. No, not Tuesday. Tuesday, I didn't have anything because by the time the new season started, I was not ready to record. <laughs> so... Um, but we did take a little bit of time to reflect on the three regionals that we had, the Pokemon that were used, and I have that list in front of me, and what other things that we could be expecting from um, uh, the thing going forward. So let me first go ahead and go over the list of what happened between the three regionals. While everything in, is listed on Lab Mouse, and I'll provide a link in the description for this particular search, I at least want to say out of... 37 Pokemon. I only grabbed the Pokemon that hit top eight and the Baltimore regionals, the Dortmund uh, regionals, as well as the Joinville regionals. So all three of those, I only grabbed the top eight. Okay, So top eight people with all the teams and stuff like that. So there was a lot of Pokemon on there and we only recorded for the regionals. Now you can see how many people actually showed up to these events and what happened with the list and everything like that. I only grabbed top eight and it kind of shows like a lot of what people are kind of thinking of. So in the top six list uh, of the of the three regionals, Golden Go, Incineroar, Amoongus, King Gambit, Porygon 2, and Garchomp were the top six most used Pokemon in those three regional tournaments. Now, if you look at each individual tournament, you can see like Incineroar was mostly used in one tournament, uh, Golden Go was used in another one, and Rillaboom was mostly used in another one. Like that's true but I only wanted to record what the top eight players were since I wasn't able to see a list of every single player that was there. So things I can physically see and record with a notion. So Golden Go specifically was seen 12 times within the three regionals, giving it a 400% usage. That's a lot. So like out of eight, 16, 24 people, half Half the, half the people, half the teams had Golden Go. Almost half the teams had Incineroar. Almost half had Amoongus. And then it just steadily drops down from there. There is very few Pokemon that had been used more than once. I know Jack Clark in the Dortmund uh, regional had like Sinistra. He had, um, what was it? He had, I think Cleavor and stuff like that. Like he had like a wide variety of Pokemon. But what we wanted to try to do is try to figure out what people are using now and try to counter it and i figured i would show you guys the imprint that i have and see if you guys can see what i see because I, I think i'm kind of cooking here but we'll we'll show you so here is mod who is a murkrow that i got from my buddy jt he his information is gonna be listed down in the description as well he does a lot of vgc pokemon and he was doing a challenge where he would make a brand new team either once a week or once a month and then whatever he hit the rank ladder with he wasn't able to use them the next following term and every uh, six weeks or so he had shuffled out pokemon that he wasn't able to use and he would share the rental codes and stuff like that it was a really unique challenge so because this was during regulation and d before restricted came up so we just got access to i think for the runic pokemon and uh it was a very really interesting uh combo or conversation with him at the time as he was really really into uh potion uh potion posting on social media and stuff like that. So Mod, who came from him, was a Murkrow that he was using in the Luxury Ball. We're going to go with Golden Go in this playthrough to counter the Fairy types and Dark types. I realized that we don't really have anything to counter Dark types. So my original six was Sinistra, making us have a third Pokemon that was supportive. And we quickly swapped it out to bring in uh, Lilligant. And I'll get to them in just a minute. And there's also something I also found out. I don't have anyone to stop Trick Room. So we might be uh, in trouble with that unless we swap out someone else so that we can bring in someone that can stop Trick Room. Um, we might have some options, but we might not. I'm not 100% sure about that, but we'll leave it up there. For this build for Golden Go, we're going to go with the Metal Coat. We're also going to change the Terra type to Steel so that we can completely abuse and make it rain. Now, the original idea was to give him specs 
and spam that and then have Murkrow be the person that comes out next to him so that he can do moves like Haze. Haze resets all stat downs or even gains that you would get from your Pokemon, which means Golden Go, who was getting a huge amount of attention during the tournament, is now able to make it rain, have the full investment into special attack and possibly speed, then does a ton of damage to a lot of Pokemon in front of him, right? And then he gets a minus down, but guess what? Next turn, Haze comes up, goes right before the Golden Go, and no one can really stop it because then it goes Golden Go or goes Mod or Murkrow, then Golden Go. Because I have Tailwind here, Protect here, no one's really gonna really screw with, you know, Murkrow at first, he's got the Eviolite, so he is gonna withstand a lot of hits that come out from people. And then you've got that. So it goes boom, boom, we're done, right? Bring him back Garchomp to deal with the people that hate being hit with either rock types, ground types, or even dragon types. So other dragon types like Hydreigon. Uh, Archelodon doesn't really do anything. It's uh, neutral, but Earthquake should get a lot of damage down. But we do have coverage for all three different types with the Life Orb, Rough Skin combo, having Protect. Now, he's uh, currently set to jolly we might switch him over to adamant because of the fact that we do have murkrow here doing us a favor with tailwind now we also have Milotic here so that we can get another haze user just in case if say that oh i know that this trick this to uh, this team is going to be trick room i don't really want to have someone that's incredibly speedy so Milotic is going to be my answer to not really stop trick room i think Milotic might get in prison and trick room i'm not 100 percent sure if it does that's awesome but not we have access to scald who turn which does damage against fire types doesn't really do anything against uh i mean it's also going to hit ground types really really hard it's going to hit rock types really really hard uh it's not going to do anything against grass types but then that's why i have pokemon like um history and arcanine i could do regular arcanine too but i wanted to have a little bit more uh stab bonuses so we also have recover on my Lodic as well and it's shiny so aod you get uh, another shout out buddy for having like this pokemon come out love the shiny form for Milotic, if you ask me. And then we have Arcanine coming back with the Clear Amulet Intimidate combo. We do not have uh, Rockhead anymore, even though Head Smash did do a ton of damage to everything on that side of the field. We have Clear Amulet so that we don't like lose any stats, but since we have two Pokemon with Haze, uh, stat downs isn't really going to be affecting us too much. But I also want to make sure that if I have ways to getting rid of like the stat minuses i can we also have will o -Wisp to, to burn physical targets that's not fire and we also have a way to protect ourselves and then lilligant with the choice band hustle ability <laughs> let me cook let me cook okay so here's what i'm thinking this pokemon is incredibly speedy outside of sun we do Murkrow for Tailwind, gives Lilligant a little bit more of a boost. Now we do have to change the moves around a little bit because after you and Sleep Powder does nothing to Lilligant. However, with the ability Hustle, it's going to boost our physical attacks by 50%, but drops all the accuracy to 80. 80%, which is slightly better or on par with Bleak Wind Storm. And I hit a lot of people with that move. This Pokemon is going to be our specific reason to a lot of different people. Dark types like King Gambit, Tyranitar, other Hisuian Arcanines, might be Archelodon. I didn't calc specifically for Archelodon. I think I would be able to do a lot, especially with the Choice Band giving a 1.3 and then Hustle giving it a 1.3. And then obviously like the stat downs would be a bad thing, but then I realized I have mod here <laughs> yep <laughs> it's just like oh well, let's just do haze i don't have to worry about any of that stuff so we're going to change the move sets for this pokemon real quick uh we could do axe kick no we're not we're not doing that uh pedal blizzard i do have that taken care of it doesn't really have anything physically i need to get rid of two more moves for after you and sleep powder so let's do TMs instead. Uh, I wish I could sort this out by physical and stuff. That would be dope. Um, Brick Brick was also a good option. Not Air Slash. How about Aerial Ace? Aerial Ace might be fun. I don't have flying coverage. Stack never misses. Why not? After you, Giggity. Oops. Uh, no, I don't want to forget that. I need another move. Now I do have Ice Spinner would be perfect here. 
Yeah, let's grab an ice spinner. That's a physical attack. Goodbye, sleep powder. We'll have ice spinner on our uh, Lilligant here. Since it's banded, we're only going to get one shot anyway. So yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. This is absolutely going to be fun. It's going to be very, very tricky too. Now here's the caveat, right? Um, if they are going to be using, let's say, where is he? Ensign, right? Ensign's going to have a direct counter to Golden Go. Dragapult is also something I saw quite a bit of people play. Is also going to be a direct counter to not only uh, Golden Go, but is going to be a direct counter to Garchomp. Now, I can't stop it with Intimidate due to Clear Body, right? And a lot of other Pokemon like Gallade, which is not here on this list. No, I don't have it. Okay. So Gallade is also going to be a Pokemon that is going to have like the clear amulet. Anyone that has clear amulet is not going to be affected by Arcanine's Intimidate. There's just no way to, to, to do any type of stat down. So that's why I'm not going like with Incineroar to kind of counter that that rate, right? Um, I don't have Primarina, so I'm going to use Rillaboom as placeholder. So Rillaboom counters hard to Milotic. Um, Primarina would counter fire which is right here. So I'll just use, you know, Don Dozo. I mean, it would also, it has Earthquake, Wave, Crash, and Order Up. Would counter that slot there. Uh, fire type. I need, I need a Fairy type. And I'm doing this just so that we can have means of like physical representation of what people could use. The counter, um, we'll just do this Go over there. Uh, we can also do this, put you there. So yeah, so this is how I kind of see the counters and ways to possibly counter to go around that. Rotom goes there. Whoops. No, it was right. Okay. Uh, fighting type. It's a good fighting type. Anyone with bulk up really. Um, let's do our Chelodon to represent that slot there. And we're doing that because of body press. Body press would automatically like one shot Arcanine because I have no way of like I lower down its physical stats. It doesn't matter until I burn it. That's when it matters. So until it gets burnt, it's like a one shot. Uh, the only way that I can survive that is like Terra. So uh, there's that. So another this is dark fire type. That's a direct counter to him. I don't have um, I do not have King Gamut done, so I can't use that as representation. We could do Hydreigon. He's got Dark Pulse and Snarl. At least mine's got Snarl. Doesn't have Dark Pulse, but Dark Pulse would definitely do it against Golden Go. So I'm going to change that to Steel. Might change Garchomp to, to Ground. I will be affected by Burning, but that's times four. What else? Well, I think that's all realistically. I have a water type representation, a fighting type representation. I have both grass and electric here. Dragon. I uh, can put someone with ice, so Glaceon. And Alone and Ninetales would, ha would hit that slot too. I don't think I have Alone and Ninetales trained. Gastrodon could do it, but I don't think that's going to be what people are going to use. Salamence would also do it too. Um, so this is kind of how I built my teams. Oh, I do have Sylveon. So I'll put you all the way over there. So this is kind of how I build my teams and try to reflect that and try to see what I can uh, view from here to see what other people are, might be playing. I do like using three physicals, three specials. That way I have reasons to go back and forth and not really have to worry about whether or not that I can uh, counter most types. I do have the fire, water, grass core. So there's that. The only thing that I really have to worry about is Trick Room. And I currently do not have anyone on my roster that's going to be able to counter that. So it is going to be the fastest that I can possibly do to knock them out. So if I ever see Trick Room that is set up by uh, Hatterini, I have to open up with Golden Go. And if it's like a Pokemon like, I don't know, um, Indity, right? I'm kind of at a loss. To be honest, I don't really know how I'm supposed to counter that. And even now, as I'm looking at the team, I don't have anyone besides Murkrow that can fly. So clicking Earthquake might be the worst option for Garchomp. But if I open up with, you know, Earthquake with the Life Orb and I be Terra Ground, I don't have to worry about Murkrow getting hit, but with being Evilited, I do have to worry whether or not that I'm going to get faked out, but I don't think I have to worry about that too much. Because like it's it's either one or the uh, or one or the other, right? You can fake out 
gold, uh, um, Murkrow, but I'm going to hit you really, really, really hard with Garchomp. So you really have to decide which one you want to get hit with more. Do you want to get hit with Garchomp or do you, are you okay with me getting Tailwind off? Or if it's not another dark type Pokemon, I can use Quash and then, you know, lower down their attack to be the very end as if it was like trick room and stuff like that. So that's that's kind of what I'm thinking of. I might be overcooked here, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure. We're going to give it a shot cuz I think this is a good combo to to counter what's out there or what's currently being used a ton. Even though that my six Pokémon that I mentioned earlier had none of those. Like Mousehold still had five people, Dragonite still had five people, King Gambit who I thought that would be much higher in this list only had where are you? You had more than two. I can tell you that. Um, no, there's not a load more. Oh no, he had nine. Okay, so he's up there. So I just gotta make sure that I'm not uh, going over balance. The most, the, the Pokemon that I do have to worry about a lot, since I do not have a way to counter weather, is literally Archelodon and Pelipper. If it's Torkoal, I have an easier chance of dealing with Torkoal. If it's literally Pelipper and Archelodon, I am really really pushed thin and that is only because i have to worry about not only being hit or like hitting the pokemon really to get like the stamina boost i do not want to give it too much but i also have to worry about um who's going to be able to ko it afterwards so if i give it a boost and then it's like oh well i just get like this you know electro shot and no one else is ground i'm kind of i'm kind of in trouble and not a lot of people resist our Chelodon. like Lilligant can. Garchomp resists it. It's immune to it completely, but the rest aren't. So that's fun. So yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out like the best way to, to counter like what's out there. But at, at this present time, what I'm seeing, I do not have a way to counter Trick Room. And that might be a problem in the future, but I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to run with this team. I'm going to see what we can do. I'm going to make the Terra changes for Garchomp and Golden Go. I think everyone else is fine for the most part. Ghost for Lilligant's totally fine. Water for Arcanine's fine. Dark for... Murkrow, I mean, that might be changed, but I don't know what usually people use Terra for him anyway, so it's up in the air, but yeah, um, that's all that I got. So let's see how the team goes for their first season 23 matches and go for there. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so I have Torkoal, Lilligant, Hisuian, Incineroar, Purgraph, Gallade, and Grimmsnarl. Let's see what I was talking about before? <laughs> <laughs> now we are kind of messed up a bit because of Earthquake here. We also don't really have a good strong counter against Gallade. But everyone else seems pretty easy. We don't have anyone with um, Fairy, so that's going to be fun. Um, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Now, Frigorap is going to turn off a lot of stuff, so they're probably going to get Trick Room up, which is going to be very, very unfortunate. So instead, what I want to try to do is... Bring in Arcanine and Lilligant. Let's bring in Milotic. No, not Milotic. Uh, Garchomp. And I, I'm really thinking of Lilligant. I'm really, I really, really am. They're not going to bring out Oracle turn one. I have Lilligant on my side too. They don't know it. I almost ran out of time. I almost ran out of time. I was like, oh man, they're gonna bring out Torkoal. They're like, oh man, this guy's got Torfill. He's gonna be really, really fast and yada, yada, yada. And I'm gonna be like, no, I'm Hustle. I'm gonna get that 1.5 boost twice. <laughs> okay, so Incineroar. Nice. Right. Okay. Okay. So Incineroar Burgeraf. And I'm faster than their Incineroar. Okay. Okay. Really gets a boost. But that's suboptimal boost, but it's a boost. Let's go Rock Slide and Close Combat. Let's go straight for Furigraph. Break out. Arcanine. Totally okay with that. Close combat. Uh oh. I think that tells him. <laughs> Look at that trick room. <laughs> I think that told them. I think that told him I was not expecting to miss my first move. I, I will tell you that. I was not expecting that, but that's totally fine. Um Swap to my Lodic now. 
Lilligan done its thing, right? It, it's just just kind of it was trying to put a lot of pressure on on Fergraf, but the fake out did kind of throw us off a bit, but that's okay. That's absolutely okay. Voice. Not very much damage. There's the throat spray on Rigoraf. Knock off. On the Arcanine, takes off the clear amulet. Rock slide. Okay. Now get a little bit of healing. Protect. And what are you going to do? It would be your best interest to switch out Incineroar. Who would you switch it out to? I'm going to attack it anyway. I'm going to force you to. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to force you to. Hyper Voice does nothing to Arcanine. I can't even extreme speed if I had it. Can't do that. Running shot. Might have just cost you insane. Sculpt. She's barely living with a little bit of HP. Oh, nope. The uh, barrier kicks in. Okay. Okay. Heal up. Let's see. Two more turns on Trick Room. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep the quo. We'll keep the status quo. And... Scald on... Burgraph. I think Instant's gonna swap. Oh! Okay. Burgraph swapped. It's only got two more turns of Trick Room left, so they have to quickly swap up strategies. Oh, here comes Torkoal. Okay. Parting shot. Are you gonna be are you gonna reintroduce Burgaraf? I mean that would be a that's not a bad idea. Um but rock slide's gonna hurt. How comes Lilligan? It is Lilligan, okay. Skull. It's Torkoal. Quite a bit of damage. Rock slide. Also quite a bit of damage. So do I use my No. I don't. Instead I swap. Oh, I don't have Hmm. Let's actually do that. I was going to protect and allow that to, to not happen, but okay. I figured that was going to happen, but what about Lilligant? Sash is gone. Skull does nothing. Flare Blitz, because I'm faster than Lilligant. Chlorophyll. And Trick Room is still active. Trick Room is still active. Tail up on my Lodic. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Uh, this is insane. Gotcha. Oh! Competitive. Ooh. Competitive. Yes. Uh, let's swap to Garchomp, and I'm just going to go ahead and protect. I don't need my loadout to do anything right now. Do not need it to do anything. I saved my Terra for a long time. A long time. That you got minuses, which doesn't really bother me. I've got haze, I can take them off. 
our chunk comes out. They're gonna Terra. Probably to Torkoal. It is. Fire. Okay. It can't be Eruption, so it's gotta be Heat Wave. Attacked. Take out this to the protect. It is heat wave. It's not gonna affect Garchomp too much. Nope, not very effective. And this is when I get to have my fun. All right, Terra up. Oh, never mind. Never mind. So the setup was going to be Terra Ground, Garchomp, uh, Earthquake. Right? It's going to do a ton of damage to my partner Pokemon, which is going to my my Lodic. My Lodic is built to be a tank. Has a lot of HP. Has a lot of defenses, and it comes with Recover. So any damage that isn't a KO is going to be almost immediately healed right after that. And because they only have Ferrograph after that, it's going to be really, really hard for them to come back from, especially when the Terra Ground, Earthquake, Life Orb damage Garchomp. That is not, right, is not based in physical attack. He's jolly, but he should be adamant. Probably will be adamant next video. For now, Okay, so we have Murkrow, Weezing, Glamora, Unity Male, Candelure, and Sneasler. Okay, so against this particular team, we do have some options. It's not very much, but we do have some. Um, let's go ahead and bring in Maud and Golden Go to kind of get rid of a lot of the other Pokemon on that side. We can Terra Seal to then take out uh, Glamora, Chandelure, and we can also do a lot of damage to Weezing himself. Not so much on Murkrow and not so much on Sneasler. Now, Sneasler is the weird Pokemon and I think it's like poison fighting. So like Garchomp should do a ton of damage here. Maybe Lilligant to do a ton of damage here, but I'm not 100%. We're going to bring in Garchomp for sure and let's bring in I'm kind of digging it uh, like Arcanine they only have one physical attacker technically two with Murkrow but he's not really physical attacking yeah let's bring it in we'll bring in Arcanine we won't bring in the look at this time uh I uh <laughs> I so wanted to have the first hit on for a graph to be hustled right to, to, to death right uh missing turn one though was <laughs> so bad so bad it's kind of why I don't want to bring in uh, against this particular team because it does have ghost Pokemon that can obviously swap to Sneezer uh, Entity Male. Okay. Psychic Surge. So it's going to turn off the ability. Uh, Psychic Seed also activated on Sneezler. Special defense boost. So here's something cool. I can go this Terra make it rain and sneezer still can't hurt me because dire law is a um steel type is a poison type move which will not affect golden go and status moves will also not affect golden go because good as gold now he got his special defense boost that's cool i'm just gonna immediately turn it off with haze wow so yeah now if you want knock out murkrow i don't really care no fake out so that's cool throat chop no, that is a crit. That is going to do a lot. Fire Blast. On the Murkrow, it's not going to do a ton of damage. Make it rain. Terra Steel with the Metal Coat. Fuck. Oh, that was a lot. Now we go with Tailwind and do it again. King of Skills meme, right? Do it again. Do it again. We're going to do it again started watching his content the other day. That's so good. Oh, close combat. Faster than Golden Go. Ooh. Ooh. 
gets the gets the drops there. That's kind of what I wanted to do, you meanie. Too bad. So sad. That's okay. That's okay. Air blast goes right over to Murkrow again. It's not enough to get the KO because we have the EV light. And now we can bring out Garchomp. Who I'm assuming is going to be able to outspeed Sneasler now. He is set to Jolly. He is going to be doing a ton of different uh, things. So that should play some sort of a thing. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and Earthquake. It's not going to affect Murkrow at all. It's flying, right? But I don't want to swap into Arcanine until I know what's in the back. They're not going to like what I have. Uh, in the future. He still outspeeds? Bro, what? He still outsped me in Tailwind. That's insane. I know Unburden is a lot, but come on. But come on. That means he... What was it? What was his first move? No, he wasn't. I was thinking he was Scarf, but he's not Scarf. That's what I was thinking of. I thought that he was Scarf. It's like, no, that can't, that can't be. Would not be able to, to prove that he's Scarf. Okay. So. The Mora and Chandelure. Okay. So, the Mora. He's not physical based, he's special based. Let's go ahead and quash Candlelore. And Yeah, let's just go ahead and Earthquake. They don't have Halen, they weren't able to act trick activate Trick Room. Should not be able to outspeak me here should not have zero ability to if they do i'm gonna be super surprised terra on their side goes to chandelure grass so he's gonna withstand a lot of the earthquake nonsense but he's not gonna like what i have in the back spiky shield okay so it's gonna take very little damage wash Oh, right. Psychic terrain. Okay. Okay. No, that's that's my fault. That's absolutely my fault. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. That's still a lot of damage. Battle ball. Okay. Down goes Garchomp. That's leftovers. Okay, so... Intimidate. So... Lamora is the problem one, for sure. Do I have Tailwind still? I do, for one more turn. Spell play there. Rock Slide or... Yeah, Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide's gonna be the best bet. Rock Slide hopefully gets the flinch. Toxic Debris, but there's no one in the back, so it doesn't really matter. Try play. I, I figured. Oh, someone flinch couldn't move? Battle Ball. Good, it was the Glamora. That opens us, that opens us up. That opens it up. Uh, that opens us up. That opens us up. That's that's good. Tailwind's gone. Weirdness disappeared. Um. Let's do. Let's do that. And this again. Hopefully get the flinch. Wash. You go last. <clears throat> you go last. 
Oh, he goes first? Oh, that was a blunder on my part. <laughs> that was absolutely a blunder on my part. <sighs> Sneezler. Sneezler, Sneezler, Sneezler. That's okay. It's absolutely okay. We're, we're out of here. We're not gonna be able to do anything more. Um, Sneezer was the best combo that I had, or the best Pokemon I had against Glamora. Either that or Garchomp, obviously, but, uh, yeah, they were able to dispatch him pretty easily. I, uh, yeah. I did not, one, didn't take, uh, Terra into account, and two, I was not... I had forgotten about, um, Psychic Search. Turn it off, uh, priority. That kind of sucks again when when you have Murkrow, like foul play is like a really good move, but it's only against physical types. And then sometimes it just doesn't really do a whole lot. It's weird. It's a good move as long as that people gets bonuses, but if they don't get bonuses, it kind of hits harder or less. So yeah. Um, yeah, Sneezler, man, Sneezler. Okay, we've got not, uh, Incineroar. Wow. Um, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Lone Ninetales, Frostmoth, Mousehold, and Annihilate. So, we do have some weird options in front of us, right? Some very weird options. Um, 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 um
Um, let's go ahead and foul play. We're gonna hit the annihilate. Well, do I do I want to do that? Yes, because I think everyone else that I could bring out right now is the wrong decision. So foul play into that slot, and we're just gonna continue on with our rock slide boldness. Protect, just totally fine. Because I wasn't gonna really hit Incineroar. I could have, but it's not gonna really do anything. Misses Incin uh No. Hits Incineroar, misses Annihilate because of Protect. Foul play goes into Protect. What do you do, Ensign? Harden shot. Okay. Do you really want to be doing that? See, that's what doesn't make sense. Like, oh yeah, let me use parting shot, making you a minus one, minus one. Okay. Okay. Summon the Furious, which is Rillaboom. Grassy Surge, so you're gonna get additional healing over time. Uh, but Fake Out is a possibility here now for sure. Change out to Golden Go. And... Let's protect. Let's do that. I can I can withstand with the minus one, minus one for right now. I still have Tailwind. I think Tailwind goes for one more turn. But if you do knock out Arcanine, or at least get it out next turn, I have an answer for you the following turn. There's the fake out, and it was the Golden Go. That was to erase the haze. Drain Punch. Okay. Okay. Boyo! Okay, Tailwind's now gone. So let's go ahead and Shadow Ball there. And I'm going to Rock Slide that side of the field. I should be faster. Now, it could be 156 on Annihilate, right? Could be. Not sure, but we'll see. I'm not going to Terra Golden Go because I kind of want to save it for right now. Um, they're probably going to want to protect on Annihilate, though. That would make the most sense. Yep, there it is. Box slide. Hits the Rillaboom. Does very little damage. Battle Ball goes into the Protects. You turn. Sin. And it's now stopped. Let's protect here. Swap to Lilligant now. Let's swap to Lilligan. That might be my best option. I was going to swap to Murkrow to get like Tailwind back up, but I don't think that's my best option. I think because of the fact that they've eff uh, effectively done everything that they possibly could to lower down my stats. Coming out with Lilligan now. Hello! Withdrew Annihilate. Okay. Bring out nine tails. It's no warning kicks in. That's a, uh, a defense boost. So physical attacker is going to do less against ice types. Flare Blitz goes into protect. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead. And do nasty plot. I'm gonna Terra. No, I'm not. 
But I'm gonna knock off. I'm gonna do that. Or a veil. It's gonna lower down the damage by 30%. Sorry, 33%. Those combat, please hit. Hit misses. Hustle. You're not working. <laughs> not working. Knock off. Goes to Golden Go. Does not knock me out. It's really, really close though. Knocks off the metal coat, so that sucks. Everyone heals up just a smidge. Grass disappears. Let's just swing. I'm a plus two. Outspeed most people except for um a low and nine tells there. Probably a, like a worse decision to Terra Golden Go. Knowing what's in the back, and I'm no longer getting that bonus, but this should give me a big enough bonus with a plus two. I was really, really hoping to get the knockout, though. The Sable. Good call. This combat was disabled. Make rain. Plus two. With the Aurora Veil. Should not. Nope, okay. I was gonna say. Ninetales should not survive this. Absolutely should not. Hit Flare Blitz, goes into Golden Go, knocks it out. And I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. Damage by the recoil. Go ahead and bring back out Arcanine. Now we're bringing back out Arcanine so I can swap Lilligant out. Aurora Rail is still up. Here comes Annihilate. Oh, Rillaboom. Okay. Which I'm okay with. Intimidate. Massive Surge. Let's go and protect here. Swap to Murkrow. Okay. With through and sin, here comes Annihilate. Tailwind, so I'm faster. Withdrew. Okay. Here comes Insin. Which isn't a really good combo, to be honest. Yeah, you bring in Insin, Intimidate, okay, minus one on the Arcanine. Which, at this point in time, is worse, right? But next turn, Haze kicks in. And the minus one doesn't really do anything. I'm gonna avoid it. It was Insin. I mean, Aurora Veil is still up too. No stops, so now I don't have to worry about this. The snow. Move again. No, I think... I think Annihilate is gonna protect. So I'll just go after Incineroar. Oh, Fake Out. Okay. Goes into Murkrow. Close combat worked! Nope! 
finally it worked. It worked. It just needed to. <laughs> Wait, I'll take the t I'll take the knockout. At least I don't have the revolving door of Pokemon anymore. Murkrow flinch can move. Train punch. Over to Lilligan. That's a lot of damage still. Aura Veil is now off. Some of the furious. Now Fake Out is actually going to hit Lilligant and yeah, so we are, I think we're donezo here, it's uh, which is unfortunate, but let's see if they, let's see if they uh, don't do that, right? Let's see if they don't. <laughs> let's quash the Annihilate. Oh, they don't fake out. Okay. Okay. This combat hits. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> Guys. 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 Um what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> oh no. Let's, let's go again. Um, and let's just make it so... What, what do I have? Get one from one more turn. Grassy Glides from one turn. Wash. Let's make you move last. So if you're going to do Grassy Glide, no longer. I don't think it... No, nope. No, come on! No! No, it was Grassy Glide. That was it. That was my win in it. <laughs> that was my win. Uh, rap. That's okay. Foul play into. Oh, that tailwind's gone. Yeah, that's okay. Dang. I got to see it though. I got to see it. Pretty much full health. Annihilate completely the shut down by a hustling little kid. <laughs> what is this? Okay, we have Dragapult, Sneasler, Rillaboom, King Gambit, Free Marina, and Magmar. Okay, okay. So we have the meat. No. Um, how much faster? I think. Garchomp's base speed is like 92. Eh, I passed him. There he is. It's 102. So Sneasler does outspeed him by 18 points. So almost nothing I can do is going to stop that. But he, I don't have to worry about um, not using Quash now. So I should be able to do it with no problem. <clears throat> um, King Gambit's on the field though. So I should bring in, let's bring in Murkrow. Arcanine to kind of get a set of, uh, start it off. No, not Murkrow. I mean, not Arcanine. Let's bring in Garchomp, Lilligant, and Golden Go. I think that's going to be what I bring in. They don't have anyone that can do anything speed wise, but Magmar has Follow Me. And if I was to use Arcanine in that match and try to burn King Gambit, Follow Me would hit on the ma on Magmar, which then would make it so very, it would make it harder for me to be able to do anything, right? So we don't really want to do that. We have Sneasler and Dragapult, two very fast Pokemon. Extremely fast Pokemon, actually. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do Tailwind, so I outspeed. Terra, Earthquake. And hopefully this does enough damage. Cause I'll outspeed Dragapult. I won't outspeed um, Sneasler, but we'll see. Dragon on Dragapult, not bad. Not bad. Dragon's neutral to ground attack, uh, ground attack, so it's not that big of a deal. Um. But I also don't resist it, so maybe Terra Steel would have been best here. But I want to do more damage with Earthquake. Now, right now, no item has been used. Fake out on the Murkrow, which is totally fine. And it's got Poison Touch. Okay. Okay. 
Murkrow flinch, can move. Dragon darts, which is gonna probably take down Murkrow. It's not, I mean, that's, that's a lot. It just barely survives, but I think Poison's gonna get it down. Here comes Earthquake, doesn't hurt Murkrow. Terra. Earthquake. That's... Oh, that's a Sash. Now he, now he double speeds. Now he doubles. Yeah, now it's a problem. Oh, now it's a problem. Life Orb, do you live? You don't, okay. So the Poison Touch is what really took down Murkrow. Nothing really else did it. Um, but we're going to bring out Golden Go now because they're kind of forced to do something else. Here comes Rillaboom. Golden Go. Grassy Surge activates. Golden Go is going to go ahead and uh, make it rain just to kind of deal with the damage there. And I'm going to protect just so that Garchomp doesn't get taken. Uh, get hit with anything, realistically. Sneezer re retreats. It had to. It can't really do anything to Golden Go at this state. It is King Gambit. Okay. Grass Glide. Make it rain. So this is why I didn't want to bring in Arcanine. Now I'll go ahead and protect here, swap to Lilligant. This Grassy Glide I do have to watch out for for Rillaboom until it gets taken out. But I also have to worry about Sucker Punch being, being up there too. So next turn I Nasty Plot to foil the, the Sucker Punch. And I'm hoping that... I can punch that thing in the face of Cold's combat. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Press Glide. Move against. Not super effective. Tau Cleave. This is the Protect. Okay. Nasty Plot. I can Ice Spinner, I can Aerial Ace, but I'm going to Close Combat in Gambit. Let's see if it works. It protects. That stinks. Nice Glide goes into Golden Go. Okay. Okay. Close Combat goes into to King Gambit. <clears throat> Maybe I should have done... Uh, Another thing. No, because, like, that was a good move. Actually, that was a good move, because now they open themselves up to be able to sucker punch this turn against Golden Go, which I do not want to happen, so we'll protect again, and I'll just try it again. So far, I've hit twice out of the five times I've clicked this move, so I'm two and three. <laughs> Two and three, man. That's not great. <laughs> but I'm hoping. I'm so hoping. I did so good with... Uh... Oh, retreats. Okay. Here comes Sneasler then. Okay. Attack. Just combat. High horsepower. Okay.
Try and make it rain. I'm close combat. Uh, Rillaboom. I think... Yeah, okay. I was like, I think he's gonna protect again. I don't think he has Sucker Punch this time. Close combat. From full health to... Just gone. <laughs> Eliminator! Thanks for playing. <laughs> oh god. I literally created a monster. This is great. <laughs> I've created a monster. And I kinda like it. Ooh yeah. Okay, so I've got plus one here. And Lilligant... I'm gonna protect here. I'm gonna swap Lilligant out for Garchomp now. Okay, battle's canceled. Never mind. They didn't have... Um... Sucker Punch. Interesting. Were they a Sword Stance build? No. Probably Salt Vest? No, because they did protect. They wouldn't be a salt vest. My guess is black glasses then. So what other moves did they use besides Katao Cleave? I only saw Katao Cleave and protect. So was it Sword Stance and something else? Maybe low kick? Oh, they literally couldn't do anything if it's low kick. Oh, dope. Oh, dope. <laughs> Absolutely wicked. Okay, we've got Arcanine, Armourouge, Sylveon, Hytreigon, Entity Female, and Primarina. Okay, so what's the best combo for this particular team? They do have Psy Spam and would clearly use it and abuse it. So, what's going to be my answer then? What would be my answer? How could I combo that? Or how? Hmm, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. How do I counter this? Maybe duo rock slide. Now, if that's if they're gonna open up with side spam, they can clearly see I only have one dark type Pokemon, and I clear they they clearly shut me off. Right? They have no reason to not do that. So everything else just completely gets melted away. So the question becomes, what else do they bring? Right? So let's do this. I think that's my answer. You guys might not see it just yet, but here's my train of thought. I have Ice Spinner on Lilligant. If they bring out Indity, I Ice Spinner the field away, right? So I go right into Indity, getting rid of the field, allowing me to be able to get through not only Trick Room, if they access it, but Psy Spam. I Dragon and Sylveon, okay. This is Arcanine and Lilligant. Intimidate goes off first. Rock slide. Close combat. Spin on. Let's do. Let's do close combat. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hit High Dragon right in the face of close combat. Close combat and it misses. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Over power right into Arc 9, which is going to knock it out. And I'm going to get hit with Harper Voice with the throat spray. Still be on fully maxed out, and this is going to knock down Lilligant. Bop. All because I missed my first groove. All because I... <laughs> Man, Hustle, it's supposed to be 80%. It seems that I am not hitting that percentage at all. <laughs> and it shows. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Hi, Dragon. Hi, Dragon, my friend, my pal. Do you ignore Earthquake? You don't. You also don't ignore Dragon Claw. But I'm going to do this because I want to. And I'm just going to Tailwind myself to non victory. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one, guys. I, I think I lost. I'm doing pretty ballsy stuff with us. <laughs> But it does wonder! Complete wonders! Like, deleting Pokemon just because you can really is satisfying. Terra goes on the Hydreigon, and you are? 
ghost. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Absolutely not bad. All right. Tailwind. Yeah, so now I'm faster. Zoom, zoom. Sim, zooms out of the Here comes Earthquake. Murkrow is not affected. And you have... Why do you have Levitate? Why do you have Levitate? That's so stupid! No, it's not bad. I forgot he had Levitate. I forgot. Draco Meteor. Howie. Yeah, this is a loss. I have boys. Okay. Okay. So we totally grabbed the wrong Pokemon for this match. Obvious. Oh! Oh, yeah, it's super effective. Right. Duh. Even with the Eevee light, you pierce through it? Dope. <laughs> Dope. Okay. That, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Uh, I think it would have been a little bit better if I would have hit Hydreigon, but yeah. Yep. Ah, this is great. <laughs> Okay, we have Murkrow, Typhlosion, Serena, Garchomp, Primarina, and Golden Go. Okay, has the Firewater Grass Core, kind of same synergy that we have, kind of. Uh, we share three of the same Pokemon, that being Murkrow. No, just two, just two. I was mistaking my own Lilligant with uh, Serena. <laughs> I was mistaken. Don't blame me. Um, let's do. You two. Then Milotic. Now, if Milotic gets stuck up with Serena, we're kind of in a bad spot, but we can also bring in Lilligant to kind of put a lot of pressure on that. Uh, Solar Blade is not the best option, so we're probably going to need to remove that for another grass move that is a physical one. If we have access to Power Whip, that's totally fine. It just takes two turns and I have no one that can set Sun, right? But they're probably looking at Lilligant going, let's not set up Sun, even though it would help Typhlosion quite a bit. Uh, instead, um, I'm looking at her for Aerial Ace, which would definitely hit um, Serena. Now, here's something. Aerial Ace says the move never misses. Hustle says everything gets set to 80 accuracy. Which one hits more? We could try that. What do you guys want? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do Tailwind, Terra. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Earthquake because I wanna get Golden Go off the field as quickly as possible. Uh, I could also have done Rock Slide to kind of do damage against there for or Murkrow, but I don't think that's going to be the best option for me specifically, but I could be wrong in that fact. Could be wrong. Terra on my side, which either means that I'm faster or or not Terra, but we'll see. Terra ground. So they did Terra. Probably Golden Go because you wouldn't want to do it against Murkrow. Are you water or steel? Flying. Oh, you will completely ignore Earthquake. Dope. I recently had that. And it was kind of fine for me. But um, you're kind of putting yourself in a terrible spot, if you ask me. Yeah, you ignore my attack. That's cool. I'm very, uh, I'm very grateful for you. Um, but unless you hit and make it rain, that's a lot of damage. That is, in fact, a lot of damage. Foul play goes right into my Murkrow. Not very effective. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and quash you. And I'm just going to go ahead and just go straight into Earthquake. Or not Earthquake. Quash. Oh! Good as gold. Forgot. Never mind. Uh, rock slide. How about that? Ooh, Eevee Light. Nope, Sash on their Murkrow. Okay. Get a little bit of that life form damage. Um. Oh, their Golden Go couldn't attack. Oh, dope. Okay, we're just gonna hit this again then. I outspeed because they don't have Tailwind for some reason. Either that or they're waiting two turns to use it. There it is. 
It's like you, they either don't have it or they're waiting two turns. But I still believe I outspeed Golden Go, so I should be fine. Brings it down to the very little HP. Murkrow goes away. Do I get another flinch? I do. Let's go. I lucked out so bad. I lucked out so bad. Oh my goodness. Let's go. <laughs> I lucked out so bad. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Murkrow hanging out like a lot due to uh, the Eevee Light though. This is great. Primarina comes up. And Typhlosion. Okay. Well, you see that I have this. How long do I have to win for? One more turn. I need to swap immediately. We're going to go to Milotic. And I'm just going to go ahead and Earthquake because I need Typhlosion to go away. Now I know that I'm going to do a lot of damage to Milotic. But Milotic should be able to withstand Hyper Voice from Primarina. It's going to do very little damage. I also do not take that much damage against Typhlosion, which is going to do Protect, which is totally fine. I just need to make sure that I have, um, oh, they doubled. Okay. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. I just need to make sure that I have Tailwind in the back so that I don't worry about it. Um, this is going to hurt my Lotus, though. How much? How much is this going to hurt you? Okay, not very. A little bit of the leftovers. My talent is gone. Go ahead and protect here. And I'm going to rock slide. I'm not going to earthquake this time. I'm just hoping to do just a little bit of chip damage. Garchomp's pretty much served its purpose. I can't do anything more with him. Shadow Ball goes to the Protect. Hyper Voice, or did you Moonblast? Oh no, I'm faster than Prima. Okay, I'll take that. Did I get a flinch? Never mind. Garchomp print, uh, faints. Good for me. Awesome. Love that for me. Seriously, I do. That's great. Hyper Voice, there it is. Goes to the Protect. Hi, Flosion, you're tiny. Hi. Mini Typhlosion. You're like my mini Tyranitar. But I have this big old Milotic. Big old giant Milotic. Yeah. Um. Bring in Lilligan. Bring in Lilligan. Um. Let's do Scald. And. Yeah, I can't do Solar Blade because that's not going to do anything. But let's try Aerial Eights, right? Let's try it. Battle was can't. Why? Why? Why was the battle canceled? <laughs> what? Why? You have another turn of Tailwind, don't you, bro? I just want to see if it worked. Just one. God dang it. And then, ladies and gentlemen, and Pokepens alike, it's going to be the end of today's video, and I'm hoping you've enjoyed the show so far. I'm really hoping that you've enjoyed the show, or the teams that we've had, because it was kind of different, right? The intro did take a little bit of time to let out to let you guys know what I was thinking, and I even bring out Pokemon in front of it of direct counters that I can basically see within the team. We went against Trick Room, and we seem to have been able to survive through that, which was dope. Uh, we also survived quite a few different counters, but we also um, lost due to missing with Hustle. <laughs> but my god, guys, close combat, just racing people with full HP, it's neutral, just completely neutral. That was insane, and I want to see more, but now I want to see if Ariel Ace 
will still miss if in fact the Pokemon, or not, not the other Pokemon. I just want to see if it misses because it says it never misses and I have an ability that says it misses. Well, it has 80% accuracy. So which one's contradictory? Like this one has 101 accuracy. You can't drop it even further. It says it never misses. Like literally says it never misses. It doesn't even have an accuracy. It just says it always hits. I kind of want to see if that works because hustle, like you can go, right? I can go from Terra Ghost to Terra Flying and be like Roaring Moon now. And instead of being Terra Blast or just um, Acrobatics, I can literally just be uh, the other one. I can literally just be that and go, oh, Terra Flying this into that, which goes to two times for stab bonus and then gets a 1.5 boost and then another 1.5 boost. Oh my God, that would be insane. Oh my goodness. If that works that way, I think I just created a monster and I'm not upset about it. So there you go, guys. <laughs> Try that out. See what you guys come up with. Cause that that's insane. Absolutely insane. Anyways, I'm not going to drag this out any further. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to show some appreciation to the show and what I do here, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. It does help out the channel and it helps the videos perform a little bit better. Thanks to YouTube and they're saying that you guys like watching these types of videos. And if you guys want to be notified, hit the notification bell. We do plan on uploading for the rest of the year every single day. Obviously, we missed out on yesterday, but that's fine, right? We didn't want to set up for anything because I didn't have everything set up and I wanted to digest. But now since we're officially uploaded episode one, battles one through six, we're gonna be uploading every single day. And I'm hoping that you guys are excited. I'm excited. I'm hoping that this team will do really, really well. It's the first time I'm really using Murkrow, so this is dope. He's able to withstand a lot of hits. And yeah, I do have to deal with priority still, but if I play around it and I'm smart about it, just like we have with that Annihilate battle, I think we can come out with a win. We just gotta be really, really smart about it. So yep, we're gonna be uploading for the rest of the year, one video a day, and I cannot wait to, to see what happens later on in the series. Welcome back, people. Love you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, take care, have a good day. Drink your water. I know I am. My my mouth, my, my throat is dry and all that, so. <laughs> Anyways, happy Wednesday. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a good one. Bye.